How destroyed. I don't take joy in this. I just understand what my job is from Yahweh. I get that. I don't take joy in this. Um, you know, to see, you know, a, a, a great man of the Lord just overwhelmingly, you know, bestowed with the knowledge of the Most High, understanding and prophecies and things of that nature of the Hebrew. To see him become what he has become. It, it 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 doesn't feel good to me, but it all starts with pride. Pride, give me the scripture, pride separate from the Lord. Sirach, uh, the beginning of pride. <laughs> that one right there. It all started with pride and it all goes back really to, and the Most High did him cold too. The Most High really, really, what, what frustrates and part of what's a heart doesn't like is the fact that how the most high has magnified his students. Because I'm going to tell you something about Bishop Nathaniel and why he has such a bone to pick with him. That's Bishop Nathaniel used to be Tahar's reader. You see what I'm saying? It'd be like me and Asad. And now me and Asad and bro and Asad and built up some gigantic camp and I'm sitting here mad. And the most high just dwindled everything for me. And I'm mad. I'm talking about now, Hassan. You said I'm not a prophet, man. You, yo, ass, the blood. Nah, man. But just to understand the dynamic of the relationship is similar. Maybe not as close as me and Hassan, but Nathaniel comes up from under Elder Apostle Tahar. Right? I come up from under Elder Apostle Tahar. So to see certain things and to see the Most High magnifying the ministry of his students while his is diminished, um, that that plays with his pride and his ego. But not realizing that pride and ego is actually what led to the diminishing of the ministry. You ain't got to be upset that the Most High has magnified somebody else's ministry. Right? He can magnify all of our ministries. It don't got to be one or the other. Right? Where we at? Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully let this video will be entitled jealousy a carnal a carnal deflection tactic used by Alazar Hoover yep jealousy a carnal deflection tactic used by Alazar Hoover <clears throat> now the video you saw in the beginning is from one of their one of the Sakari videos I don't know I'm talking I'm calling the dude now Alazar Hoover because he was just on the podcast uh, no jumper going on on about you know the hoover crips and all of that and really alazar is still hurt he's his his ego is damaged and bruised because brothers made a bunch of videos getting on him he was embarrassed by it <clears throat> he know he was going off deep down he knows he was going off so what he tried to do is deflect and use this as a get back point saying that apostle Har is jealous of bishop nate now anybody in their right right mind knows Nobody from GMS, Apostle Hart, <laughs> any of the other apostles are jealous of Bishop Nate or IUIC. Why, why would any of us be jealous of a man that constantly goes off? And let me mention this. Alazar, you put yourself on this high level. Like you talk about Apostle Hart is jealous. And it's just like if you see your students, you know, and I, I'm not saying exactly how he said it. Like you see your students excelling above you. Let me mention this to you, Alazar. You put yourself in this high level like you, like, you know, like you this number one guy. You ain't even on a higher level than most of us brothers that's under the apostles. You ain't on no high level like you think. When you 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 do a lot of videos cutting Christians and debating and doing all that, this has led to your head. And I'm talking about it in a, in a figurative sense. Your head is really big. Other than just being physically big, your head is really big. Okay? You think you're this high-level man, and you, and you constantly go off. The only reason Apostle Har talks about Bishop Nate so much is because he constantly, IUIC and Bishop Nate are constantly going off in the scriptures. Constantly. Every day, damn near every day, every week, they're going off in the scriptures, and they have to be constantly corrected, just like we have to constantly correct some of y'all's teachings the same damn way. And you hurt. You mad about that, you know? 
Now to say that somebody's jealous of Bishop Nate, that's that's ridiculous. And don't, and don't forget, GMS is worldwide. IUIC ain't, they sort of worldwide. They got a far reach, but they ain't worldwide like us. We got camps in more locations than they do. They, although they may have more members because they just got a bunch of people that join. And Sakari, as a whole, you ain't on GMS level. Stop patting yourself on the back. Stop reading your pre your own press clippings. You really don't have no teachers over there at Sakari. You got a few guys, but nobody really knows or recognizes them and sees them as teachers. You got yourself, the deacon, Haka, and then you got, uh, what's this, this cat on the top, uh, Hassan. That's all you really got. You don't really have any teachers. Just like just like Bishop Nate, how you I see? It's Bishop Nate. What's the other guy next to him right here in this photo? Um, I forget some of the people's names. And you got, you know, the um, I, you know, I don't, I don't remember these guys' names. ASAF. ASAF really ain't on no deep level. And then this other guy, um, damn, his name's on the tip of my tongue. Bishop Kanai. And then you got Bishop Yawasop or uh, Deacon Yawasop, Yawasop. I don't know all their titles. Other than that, you just got a bunch of men that, that you don't really know that are not on the deep level. They ain't making no noise in the earth. Just stop already, man. And, and ain't nobody jealous of no Bishop Nate. Let me get a few scriptures here. So lock it for the opening, Randy. You get mad when you hear this dumb shit. But this is what Alazar is doing. He's using a carnal... Jealousy is a carnal argument. Yeah, it's, it's like, why are we here? We're here to teach the word. And Apostle Hart has excelled in preach, preaching the word and teaching the word. Bishop Nate don't even preach anymore. Apostle Hart has excelled in preaching the word, teaching the word, gathering in brothers. And by the way, who is your teacher? Apostle Hart taught you, Alazar, and all of us that are higher on a higher level than you, my friend. All the elder bishops of GMS learned from Apostle Hart. All the other apostles learn from Apostle Tahar. And all of y'all, you, the deacon, Haka, Hassan, probably, if you learn from y'all, you learn from Apostle Tahar. Everybody that you teach, Alazar, for the most part, are disciples or students of Apostle Tahar. You need to, you need to understand that. And you ain't on no high level like that. Just because you got a bunch of, let me show you something. Look at this dude comment board. This is what he breeds. I'm going to show you his comment board. This is just from this clip. Look what's on this comment board. Did you see any scriptures on there? Anybody bringing any scriptures out? Are any of these people here leaders of camps? Do they have their own camps? Do they make their own videos? Do they go on the highways and hedges? Are they bringing in any fruit? The answer is no. 490 people on your damn comment board. And you don't see no scriptures. Now, that's just from that part. Now, maybe people put scriptures on that later. These little carnal fleas that talk this shit, man. Shit make you mad. But for now... You got a portion of this world, and that's okay, man. Do what you do, but you, that, that bullshit you talking, that's a deflection tactic because you're still hurt because we got all over you about that Hoover Crip bullshit. This is Proverbs 17, 15, and this is Alazar. This scripture des describes you, Alazar. He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. You're going to sit there and go past all that damn going off that Bishop Nate been doing. From the mark, and you teach the mark of the beast is the chip, and Bishop Nate don't, and you ain't even rebuking him. You are guilty on so many levels. You are guilty on so many levels. You're gonna overlook all the iniquity and the going off of Bishop Nate. He don't teach the name. He teach sex on the Sabbath. He said Esau gonna come back after a thousand years and take us down. He broke down the mark of the beast wrong. Not to mention he changed the breakdown of the mark of the beast numerous times, at least four by my count. He said there's no Jacob's trouble. You gonna overlook all of that. To try to hurl a stone and say the Apostle Hart is guilty of being jealous of, for, for, of any man. Let alone Bishop Nate over a goddamn $150 million or however many. Whatever you think he's jealous of. Why would you be jealous of a false prophet? Bishop Nate is a false prophet. And here you are, bigging him up and trying to step on your teacher once again. And this that's his abominable Low down, dirty shit. And it is a deflection tactic from a carnal, weak, small minded, big headed, petty man. That's you. And you people that watch the Sakari that come to our videos, going back and forth, telling gossip, fuck you, man. Okay? May how about you, how should I destroy you? You can just go over there and watch Sakari. We don't need you. We don't want you. You are a danger flake. You ain't got to go back and forth in the comment, boy. You like them better? Stay over there with them.
We want you to go. We want you to go. We know that the understanding is going out into the earth because of the 100% truth. And that's what you're getting from GMS. Apostle Tahar first and foremost. And by the way, I know the Apostle Tahar don't need us to defend him. That ain't about this. This is about defending the truth. But a person is telling the most truth. When you teach about the chariots, Alazar, that revelation of the UFOs, so-called UFOs being the chariots, that revelation came through Apostle Tahar. When you say Rakak would dash, that came through Apostle Elder Apostle Tahar. Just stop it already, man. You just said that, you know, you do a lot of stuff. It be on some uh, watch this type shit. I'm going to read it again. Proverbs 17, 15. He that justifies the wicked and he that condemneth the just. Even they both are abomination to the Lord. And you're trying to condemn Apostle Tahar by saying he's jealous. Because look, when you say that he's jealous, that means that all the rebukes and the correct understanding that he's given in lieu of or in spite of what Bishop Nate is doing, how he's going off. You're saying all of it is of none effect. You're trying to void all that out by saying he only really doing it because he's jealous. Not because the scriptures say that he should do that. And I guess you're going to put yourself in that same lot. You're going to stay on your ass. Until you either repent, teach right, or the most high smoke you, man. And you trying to you trying to justify the wicked. Bishop Nate can't be justified. That dude going off, off, off. He stay going off. And we're gonna stay on this damn neck. And all of all of his men. We're gonna stay on them. And these spiritual uppercuts gonna keep coming. You can just get mad, it don't matter. First Timothy six and three. If any man teach otherwise. And consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and to the doctrine which is, which is according to godliness. He is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. And this last line right here. This is how you thinking. You thinking that gain is godliness. And really, like I said to the brothers, most of you Israelites now, you admire Bishop Nate. You admire the IUIC model because you think you're going to use that same model to pattern your own ministry after so that you can uh, so that you can uh, obtain that wealth, right? And all of that. And that's really what you're trying to do. You're trying to, you're trying to get up there on that level so you can obtain wealth. And my friend, if you want to do that, good. Do it. I hope you get everything that you want out of this world because with the way it's looking, you ain't going to make it into the kingdom. You're going to be destroyed, man. You are going to be destroyed. And we should know known better. With a name like Sakari, how can you be surprised when they stab you in the back? That's what they're known for. Dagger men stabbing you up. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. Supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. You sat there and said because... He created some big camp. Big deal. You can easily create a big camp for you just recruiting people. That doesn't translate to, to solid teachers and preachers of the law. And most of the people that go off, Bishop Nate goes off, but most of it is men in other camps teaching about hell, don't know the meaning of fornication in his true light, pushing that whole one wife doctrine, all that old bullshit. That is, look, they more watered down than ever before, man. These dudes are Catholic and you backing them up shows that you just like them. But that's okay. That's okay. So you got to withdraw yourself from, from people like that. Supposing that gain is godliness. Gain is not godliness. Having more, more students than somebody else that make you a man of the Lord. As a matter of fact, it's said in the scriptures in a couple of places. Let's go right here. This is Matthew 7, verse 13. Listen to this. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. We are not in the business of gathering a, a big assembly of people to ourselves. Those men supposed to go out and teach the word, right? You don't see Apostle Hart having a whole bunch of people around him, private security, Dudes with that little, little earpiece in their ear, standing, sweets, jet setting all over the world. You like that shit. You admire it. But Bishop Nate going off, really, for the most part, he's wasting his time. And he's going off when he's doing a lot of that stuff. But whatever. See, the world likes that. And you like it. Because that's what level you want to be on. That's why you go to places. You jet set and you go certain places, too. Whenever there's an event, 
I'm surprised you ain't come to Black Bike with yourself. I remember last year you said you was coming and the most I had it fucking rain the whole weekend. So I don't know if you came or not, <laughs> which was wonderful. I was very, I was very happy that that happened. But this time it was a beautiful weekend. And who showed up? IUIC showed up like fools. Right. But the Lord didn't send us to gather up all those multiplying, all those men to ourselves and march through the streets. You admire shit like that. But that's some low level shit. And the scriptures tell us plainly, wide is the gate and broad is the way to lead it to destruction. And many there be which go in there at. You got a bunch of followers like that. Let's say if you got a million followers, I would tell you that 900 and man, I don't know how many hundred thousand, 900,000 plus are wicked. You just ain't going to have it like that. This congregation, this uh, calling that we're in, we're searching for the elect. Do you really think out of all them thousands of people that follow Bishop Nate, call on the wrong name, do you really believe that they're righteous? They couldn't even dis decipher that he was calling on the wrong name. They still don't know. And then you are defending him. You call on your how about Shimmy how shy. He calls on Christ, but you're going to justify this guy? Man. You sound compromised yourself. Let's read this again. The more followers you have, the more all these many thousands and thousands of women and people and all this, they that 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 breeds uh, uh, Israelites that don't have really have the understanding. And think about it. You just sat there and said Bishop they got all these this big camp, but all of them are getting a false understanding from all those different false doctrines this man is teaching. We're supposed to be the ones correcting. We're supposed to correct other people's teachings when they go off so that the followers don't be corrupted, so that the sheep don't be corrupted. And we've been doing that. And for it, you're going to sit there and call us jealous. That's a low level tactic. But we expect that from you. You are rotten, stinking, low down, dirty rat. Matthew 7, 13. Enter you in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many there be which go in there at. Many gonna go in in the, in the, in the uh, wide gate. That's why you got all them people that follow you. Four hundred and ninety people in your comment board. You, that's that's why they follow you like that because they're going into destruction. They're looking for entertainment, and you provide the entertainment with all that damn music and selling all them damn items. Now you're trying to deflect. Ain't nobody forget about that Hoover Crip bullshit. Least of all, you how about Shimmy how shy? You gonna pay, man? Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Right. Few. The elect are few in number compared to two thirds. Then you must have forgot about that. You must have too good in math. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass, and in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Which means what? That there are going to be two times as many wicked Israelites as righteous. So just because your camp is flooded with people and you got all these, you know, these many thousands of brothers marching through the street, that don't mean shit. Just because you got a comic board full of people and people come around to watch them, you know, elaborate displays and you cutting people and, you know, watching all them unity camps, that don't mean shit. Most of these Israelites are bugged out and they can't explain the basics. And we know that. And if you go through all those men that's in Bishop Nate's camp, very few of them can break down Revelation Certain books out of Revelation, they can't break down 2nd Edges 11, 2nd Edges 12, you know, certain hard books, Daniel 7, certain things. You can't break down. They don't have the mysteries. They they still stumbling over so-called rape in the name of the Lord. And even yourself, it took an outsider to explain rape to you. Zechariah 13, 8, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. They're going to be two times as many wicked jakes as righteous. So it's no wonder that your camp, that those certain camps are growing in numbers. Hell, if you look at some of the other side camps, ISUBK got thousands of followers. You think they're on the level of GMS as far as teaching? The answer is no. All you camps together, Sakari, IUIC, and ISUPK, none of you got the 100% truth. You can just keep talking all you want to talk. You know what the understanding is. Verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. And this is the one third, right? In comparison to the rest of the Israelites, it's a small number. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, 
Bahashem in the name of Yahweh Shai is my God. Okay? And you're going to pretend like you don't understand <clears throat> the two thirds is always going to be a bigger number than the one third. The destroyed portion of Israelites are going to outnumber those that are saved. Although an innumerable multitude is going to be gathered to the Lord, which is the elect, it still is not, uh, still compels in, in comparison to the vast numbers that will be destroyed. And many of them that's going to be destroyed are in your camp, in the Bishop Nate's camp, in the ISUPK. You can't say that for us. We ain't got all them thousands of people, you know, following us, running behind us, trying, you know what I mean? We don't even put up with that. Most of the brothers that follow Elder Apostle Har, I say most, a majority of them are in the camps and they teach. And then we got, we got a lot of followers that listen to us and watch us, but we making sure that they receive the 100% truth. We tell them, teach them the name of the Lord, the correct understanding on rape, all the things that y'all going off on. We come by and we correct your shoddy work, but it's all good. And as for going on and on about <clears throat> how things look on the outside to people and who it is, you know, like making a big stink about uh, somebody being jealous or not. That's that's when you start talking like that, you doing that because of money, because of status, because Bishop Nick got all these many hundred billions of dollars. And he has that model that all you other really almost all the camps now, they aspire to follow the IUIC model. You want that. You want to boost the club. You want to, you know, you want to jet set all over the earth. You want to be well known and well liked and get clergyman of the year like Bishop Nate. You want all, you want the shiny shit because you're already on your way to doing that. And that's okay. You want merch, right? You want to be a, uh, you want to be a fortune, fortune magazine and all that. Well, go ahead, do it. But it's not going to make you a man of the Lord. It's not going to get you any closer to your how about Shimmy how was shot. Sitting there patting yourself on the back. Like, why, and meanwhile, you're ignoring all the rest of the brothers, the elder bishops, and then the elder brothers on down. You're ignoring all of us. We right here with these scriptures ready to light you up, man. We won't be ignored. Your how about Shimmy how shy in due time is going to magnify his true men. And you clown ass niggas that run in your mouth. You got the you false prophets. You got to close your mouth. Luke 16 and 14. And the Pharisees also, who were covetous, Heard all these things and they derided him. And I'm saying all this through the spirit of you. How about you? How shy? We could care less about the limelight. What we really want is the understanding. We we like having the hundred percent truth. You can keep the money. Give us the hundred percent truth. You can keep the prestige and the notoriety, right? And the articles and the press clips. You keep all that. We'll take the hundred percent understanding of the Holy Spirit or through the Holy Spirit, should I say? Verse fifteen. And he said unto them. Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but the Most High knoweth your hearts. Yeah, Alazar, you justify yourself. You justify Bishop Nate, so does he justify his own self. The Most High know the inner, the inner workings of you demons, but the Most High knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men, what? For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of the Most High. And we know that the majority of the Israelites, they like when you meet up. And you have your unity camps and you go on a program or you go on a podcast, right? You have a party, you have a concert, y'all do all that. We know that that's highly esteemed among these Israelites because they're a bunch of yuck yucks. They need that. But guess what? It's an abomination unto the Lord. He doesn't like it. He don't like unity camps of Israelites meeting together with different doctrines. We know that in your carnal mind, you believe that that's, you're doing the right thing. But the scriptures say that. Right? You thinking you're doing something that the Lord wants you to do. Meanwhile, you're going off. Okay? And I don't know exactly how it's how it's spoken. Right? Just like there's a scripture that says that uh, a time will come when he that how's it go? Uh, he that killeth you thinking he do a service to the most high? No. There were men who were saying that they was doing service to the Lord by putting to, get, putting to death certain men of the Lord. And they was going off and doing that. It's no different now with this. Verse 15, he said unto them, ye are they which justify yourselves before men. But the Most High knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of the Most High. Absolutely. And did you know, Alazar, that all the wicked Israelites that Esau set up, the infiltrators, the, uh, the spies, the false uh, Israelite groups, the, the plants from the government and all that, you know the reason why they did that? is to get at GMS, 
They can't openly say it, but we know that's the reason why, because of the 100% truth. They got you already. They got Bishop Nate already. They got ISUPK already. They really want to top of the 100% truth. That's why you guys, they let you do all that you're doing. Because you're trying, you running after Esau. You're trying to be like, like the world. We ain't trying to be like the world. They really want to get at us. And because of it, they set you up. People like you. And in the scriptures, it tells us, and I'm going to say one more word on this. When Apostle Hart keeps constantly getting on Bishop Nate, he's obeying the scriptures. When we constantly get on you, we're obeying the scriptures. We ain't getting on you because we got a personal vendetta against you, because we hate you, you know, because we met, we jealous of your dope flow. We like your long flowing locks down your back. We want to be like you. We want to be a Hebrews in the Hellcat. We want to be Adonis and Delirious. We want to be part of the Guinea gang. That ain't why we getting at you. We getting at you because you going off and the scriptures tell us to. Same way we getting at IUIC, ISUPK, and anybody else is going off. We're going to continue to open up on all you demons who teach wrong. You go off in behavior. You get the truth blamed. We're going to go in on you. You know why? Because the scriptures tell us to. Just as they told Apostle Hart, Bishop Nate, supposedly one of the top teachers, but he constantly goes off, and this is read, Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. We're supposed to mark them. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And that's you, Alazar and Sakari, right? That's Bishop Nate at IUIC. That's General Yohanna over there at uh, ISUPK, right? That's Priest Zabak over there at HOI and many others. And we pointed you out and we named you in the hopes that y'all would all get right. Apostle Har rebuke, we rebuke all these different groups so that the elder apostles first then us in like manner in the hopes that you all will correct your teachers. Not because we jealous, not because we hate you, not because we want to fight you, not because we want to kill you, but to keep you from getting killed by the almighty. We try to get you out of the way, out of the way of destruction. And what do you do for it? You turn around and you bite us like the sidewinder you are. You see? And we don't like making videos about you, Alazar. We really don't. But, but we compelled by the spirit of the Lord to go against all evildoers and against all wrongdoings. And this was plain wrong. It stunk. You a low level to have, you low level demon, a high level demon and a low level man that have done such a thing, man. It's really distasteful, you know? It make you think in carnal terms when you see people do that, but you know, it's all good. We just have to give it to the Lord. So that's all I'm gonna say on it, brothers. You know, let, let you how about me, how it shall be the judge between us and these, weak, these wicked ass Israelites, this was using jealousy. That's a carnal deflection tactic from Alazar Hoover. Yep, Alazar Hoover. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.